What's going on? Earthmaster here, jumping in on this beautiful Thursday evening, June 24, 2021's a date, about 7.55 p.m. in good old California. 3.0, the latest quake out here in the uh, Utah region. Let's go ahead and check out some specifics of that earthquake striking out there in Utah. Uh, let's see here, one second, let me grab up the right window. There we go. Uh, it happened, uh, looks like an over an hour ago near Aurora, Utah, uh, 3.0 striking right there in the blue circle. Uh, kind of south, uh, well south of Salt Lake City out there on some, uh, some fault systems it looks like. Uh, let's see what these are. Maple Grove faults haven't, haven't really done too much um, studying on earthquake activity out here in Utah. But of course, Intermountain West regions do see a lot of earthquake activity right up against the Rockies there. Uh, and um, other places but today just a 3.0 uh, there in Utah I don't see any other smaller quakes maybe one way down here uh, one or two out here southwest of where that 3.0 just struck but other than that pretty quiet out there in, in the uh, beautiful state of Utah Montana Wyoming area uh, Idaho still seeing a little bit of increase in activity no major swarming to report, just a couple small microquakes it looks like um, over around the eastern uh, eastern part of, uh, well, outside of Yellowstone National Park there and one northwest of Lake Yellowstone and a couple up here near Hebgen Lake still. These are the areas where we've seen some, um, a little bit of intense swarming a few days ago now, just kind of a couple sporadic earthquakes out there. Uh, Southern California. Uh, what do we got here in Southern California? Of course, we had that earthquake out there near LAX. That uh, is going to be, well, this actually looks like a newer one, 2.3. An aftershock out there very close to the Sham, Shamnock, Shamnook, Shamnook, I think that was it. Uh, or Sharnock, Sharnook, something like that, okay? Good Lord. Um, yeah, a little, uh, little microquake taking place out there, 2.3. This is the all magnitude, so that's the only thing I'm really seeing around that specific fault area. A little microquake also near Fullerton, uh, Yorba Linda area. Uh, out there underneath someone's house, probably digging tunnels. Who knows? But uh, uh, overall, Los Angeles area looking somewhat quiet. Uh, a little bit of swarming activity in the Salton Sea area. Uh, this is... And kind of over to the west of where we had seen that swarming south and west. A little bit of uh, different swarming here. A little small little cluster. Uh, but overall, uh, just a couple small microquakes. I'm not even really going to call that a swarm at the moment. But of course, that always could change uh, really soon. Some more movement along the San Jacinto Fault area with the latest quake of one point or a point nine near Colton, California, on the northern end of the San Jacinto Fault area, the San Bernardino section. Uh, in Southern California on the Pacific Plate side of that major plate boundary called the San Andreas Fault. Uh, Ridgecrest looking typical microquake activity and up through Nevada and Long Valley Super Volcano. Uh, just some sporadic microquakes out there in the region. Shooting up here to the north, Alaska looking pretty quiet. This is kind of dim when it comes to the multitudes of earthquakes that normally take place up here. This is the all magnitudes and there's only a small handful. Uh, very quiet up here along the Aleutian Islands. Uh, seems like Northern California northward up here on this section of the plate. Very quiet. Uh, in fact, if you look everywhere for the most part, we don't see any major seismic activity. Uh, still remaining quiet through Japan. A little quake out here in the Mariana Islands at 5.2. And some movement along the Solomon, uh, Solomon Islands. And a little cluster of quakes down here deep into Fiji area. 4.4 at 4.4, 5.90. Uh, some more deep movement along the Tonga Trench, uh, Kermadec Trench area. This is deep movement inland. You have to you have to think about this subduction zone earthquakes. Um, nothing big, but still some very deep movement taking place on the Kermadec Trench northward to Fiji. Uh, so watch that area pretty closely. A little bit of movement way south in the South Pacific Ocean, south, southern east Pacific rise to be exact. 5.1 striking on this section of the Pacific Plate. Uh, what else we got here? Some movement over here northwest of Australia. This is kind of odd. We don't get to see too much. 
uh, earthquake activity over here. It looks like Cabal or Cable Beach. I'm not for sure how uh, they pronounce it there in Australia. Beautiful country. I do want to get over there one of these days. Trust me, I really do. This is in a region where it looks as though there's been a seismic activity in the past. You can see these little dots here since about 1900 or so. Uh, some movement so not a whole lot not very active but nonetheless not unheard of uh, as far as earthquake activity goes there uh, north north uh, or west of Cable Beach it looks like beautiful area I mean I just it'd be so awesome to visit Australia I'm not even joking a lot of uh, a lot of cool stuff there as far as nature and, and um, geology and stuff like that goes a uh, little cluster of quakes here in Afghanistan, north, uh, eastern, northeastern Afghanistan. 5.1 being the largest quake. And then a couple small fours there uh, to the northeast of that area. Uh, what else we got here? Yellowstone, of course, a little bit of microquakes taking place here. We did see that showing up on the USGS map. The all magnitudes, these are all earthquakes here. Of course, I'm seeing a little bit more than the three or four that they shown. There's probably, at least on this map, over the last uh, 24 hours on here, probably a good 10, 15 earthquakes or so registering on this seismograph station alone there in Yellowstone National Park, northwest part uh, near Maple Creek. Uh, what else we got here, folks? This kind of looks like earthquake activity. Kind of. Um, but it's either, it's not really showing up on these. I guess it is a little bit, but pretty weak. So it's very possible this could be earthquake activity but rather far down there below the surface, I'm guessing, or just really, really weak. See all these little two earthquakes here on this map right here. Those are well-defined. Showed up on this station over here in Mo Moose Creek. And a couple of those other smaller ones did too. So there's no doubt earthquake activity. Uh, taking place here but separate from the earthquake activity up north uh, in the northern part of Yellowstone National Park uh, so yeah kind of watching that area showed up down here too near uh, Flag Ranch this here is kind of a clutter it looks like of uh, activity same for over here a little bit of registration of something weird. I mean, most of the time, if this was weather related or wind events, this would be consistent. But this is like splatters of um, activity, it looks like, every couple minutes or so. And not the same. Not all uh, registering the same um, signature, I guess. But if you look at these two over here on the eastern side of the park, and then you look at the promontory here, that's looks like wind to me potentially wind or an amplification of the seismograph itself as far as the signature goes you can see it kind of slowly increase right there and get thicker on the line so that tells me right there it could be a amplification on the sensitivity but yeah kind of watching over here um, no magma explosions no yellowstone super volcano blown up I've been getting a lot of questions about it uh, you know some other uh, folks here on the YouTube uh, world talking about, uh, you know, that uh, some some activity going on at Yellowstone National Park, but it's strictly plate tectonic activity. Um, I don't see any magma movement uh, or anything that would tell me uh, otherwise that it's not. So, but overall, generally pretty quiet, aside from the couple small swarmings up here or the small quakes in Maple Creek area and the little... Uh, interesting activity down here at the Pitchstone Plateau in Moose Creek, Idaho, picking up that small microquake activity as well. Um, doo -doo -doo, let's get rid of a few of those. What else we got here? Trimmer map into the Cascadia subduction zone. I keep clicking on the wrong one. That's the, uh, the old map. Well, 64 epicenters of trimmer. Not a whole lot. A little bit of movement along the uh, Cascadia subduction zone, down dip, downstream. Once again, underneath the uh, crust here. Or, well, yeah, underneath the surface, uh, where it kind of subducts here. The Juan de Fuca plate subduction uh, underneath the North American plate. They're kind of creating some trimmer 
uh, vibrational activity there registering on different equipment uh, uh, kind of measures magnitudes in the uh, uh, looks like uh, it's close to around point or 1.1 1 .1, point 0.9 all these are M energy releases uh, potentially equivalent to an earthquake but these are more or less lower energy very slow uh, let's see latest trimmer nine hours ago Ah, man, I tell you what, folks, that's that's about it. There's not a whole lot going on there. Solar weather, I don't believe there's too much activity. Everything's in the green zone. Solar flare activity, probably pretty quiet, I'm guessing. Only 10% chance of a sea flare. That's pretty dull, in my opinion. We need to get this thing rocking and rolling. Uh, no specific areas to watch. Maybe over here. This will be kind of earth-facing. Uh, tilt towards the south a little bit. But... Uh, Maybe watch this area uh, as it comes around the bend. Uh, all right, folks. Have a good night. Uh, what do we got there? 4.5. Kind of jumped up there on the on this area. I need to cover also, uh, at least here on the globe, shows a significant amount of movement near uh, the Puerto Rico area. Let's check that out real quick. Let me zoom over there. I kind of forgot to cover that. I skipped around there and uh, lost track of that. So let's go over here. You can see this activity, Puerto Rico swarming, uh, getting some pretty good activity in the southwest area once again of uh, Puerto Rico. This area has been pretty active over the past few months to a year or so, uh, general movement, and it looks like today uh, uh, amplification of the uh, earthquakes ramping up. 4.3 looks to be the largest, um, which is pretty good for this area, and a bunch of threes. And then we can check out the all magnitudes. Uh, well, there's really not that much more. They didn't add them at least. Uh, so about 27, 24 earthquakes or so striking out here in the Puerto Rico area. And the uh, where where'd that one go that we were just looking at on the globe? It was a 4.5, right? But it looks like EMSC has not produced it yet. Or maybe that was further over. Hmm, where did it go? Where did it go? Oh, okay, yeah, this one was a little bit further over. 65 kilometers there off the coast of uh, uh, Guatemala there into the Middle America Trench. 65, 4.5 at 65 kilometers. This area has seen quite a bit of earthquake activity over the last week or so. Uh, check seven days here in this region. You can see up and down the entire uh, coastline over here from uh, Mexico down through uh, Costa Rica area see some heightened deep earthquake activity taking place so uh, of course deep earthquake activity could strain areas that could be locked up here on the surface into the subduction part uh, so pay close attention uh, in that area all right folks I'm gonna jump off here have a good night stay safe as always and we will catch you uh, another time and uh, yeah, just always be prepared out there, folks. Peace out.